we got breaking news here, actually. Padres, they have reassigned the following players to minor league camp. Nick Hernandez, not a surprise. Yair Iriarte. So everything that I just said about, oh, well, may maybe if he keeps pitching well, maybe he'll make it. Not surprised that he's not going to make it. I thought it was a little bit early, but he, he he's had a good spring. So th at this point in time, I mean, there's not a lot of time left. So really what I think this move was about was there's other guys. There's Waldron. There's Avila. There's Vasquez. There's Brito. There's these guys that are fighting for rotation spots right now. And Ariarte, we want you pitching. So we'll put you in double A or we'll put you in triple A to start the year. These other guys, they're closer to the big leagues. We know that we're going to go with these guys, at least a couple of them over you right now. So let's just not make you continue to worry about, oh, what if you're going to make it or not? Let's just do it now. That's one less decision that we'll have to make. You've impressed us this spring. Keep working. There's other guys that have big league experience, and we're going to go with them at least for now. That's probably what the message is from the Padres for Iriarte. Adam Mazur, Sean Reynolds, they're not there anymore. Daniel Camarena, Jay Groom, which we knew about earlier today. Austin Krob, Robbie Snelling, not a surprise there. Ethan Salas, not a surprise. Marcos Castagnon, and Nathan Martorella. So like I said moments ago, Martorella, I thought it was early there. I didn't think he was going to. I think Pauly, Pauly is still there. Merrill is still there. Marcy is still there. So that's that's notable. Um, 50 players remaining in Major League Camp. So not. I don't think there's really any surprise there. But I'm glad... I am glad, though, that the Padres are making these decisions so they don't have to make more cuts later. You know, just do it. If you know that you're not actually considering these guys, just tell them so that they don't have to, you know, worry about it every day as well. And they can just maybe this is this weight. This this takes a, a weight off of their shoulders. And it's just like, OK, at least I know now that I'm not going to be on the big league roster. And I can just continue to develop, continue to work hard. I appreciate the experience that I got with Big League Camp. Now I can just go focus and continue to get better. Um, that's what I would want. If I was a player in this situation, and if you knew that you were not going to have me on the Big League roster, just tell me. You know, just just let's just get it out of the way here. It's March 3rd. And camp is going to be breaking earlier. Uh, I think it's good to have less players as well on that major league side. It allows for some of these other guys to get more playing time and not have to share it late in games because that is valuable because the coaches, it's not like they go with the players on those golf carts and they leave. No, they watch. They continue to watch through the ninth inning. They watch everything. So more playing time for guys that are actually under consideration. I think that's a good thing. 